You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we're finally on the Happy Meal Snack Maker Hamburger Maker set. Pretty excited to get to this one. This is the last set in the series. And then at some point, I'm going to come back and do all the sets in one video and make one big Happy Meal. How does that sound? Well, actually, small Happy Meal, but you know what I'm saying. So, uh, make delicious snacks you can eat and drink that look like McDonald's Happy Meals. Remember now, we're not actually using meat or any kind of product like that. It's stuff you can find around the house that you're not allergic to, that you enjoy eating, and you can experiment and play with. And I'll go over that a little bit more when we get to the directions and the instructions. But let me show you what was in this one. There was these neat little promo little flyers here. One for the cookie maker, and then there was this Lost Arches mystery game in there. There was one for the french fry snack maker. And then another set of games like a maze in the back. And then there was this hamburger snack maker one. And then silly space riddles. Why is space so noisy? Because of all the shooting stars. Stuff like that, okay? And then these were actual coupons from back then. One was for the frosting, the bread. This is all stuff that you would need. The peanut butter, and then the fruit roll-up. So that's all the stuff we're going to use. And then there's also little trays and the papers for your hamburgers and your cheeseburgers, you know, to complete your whole Happy Meal. So let me uh, move some stuff out of the way, and we'll go over the machine. All right, so here we go. And a lot of people are wondering why we're remaking these videos. Because the first time I did them, it was really early on, and we weren't, uh, you know, getting too involved with the makers at that time. And I only did one recipe, and I made mistakes in that video. So I'm trying to correct some things, improve on the video quality, and make more recipes. That's what we're doing. So... Let's go over the machine now. These are storage bins down here because you have a pickle cutter, you have your tomato cutter, and your cheese cutter. And then those stay in those storage bins. These are also where you put your buns. In the original video, I kept calling it a bun warmer. And that's what they call it, but it's not really warming. You're just kind of pretending because it's a stove top. Then up here is where you're putting your two cake toppings. You have your frosting, your red frosting here, and then your yellow frosting here. So if I call it ketchup and mustard, it's just because I'm pretending you're not going to actually put ketchup and mustard in there. This is really like a sweet snack. And then the fryer. A lot of people were confused on the fryer. Now that is not actually frying or doing anything like that. It's a wind-up toy, and I'll show you the back now. So I wind this up here. And when it's in the down position here, i got to move it to the up position. It always doesn't want to stay up for me. Okay. And then when I drop it down, I'm trying to be gentle. Oh, it did it itself. So here, so I'm controlling this now. So when I put my meat patty in there, I'm actually pretending to fry it. And then I'll move it over to this section here. Let's see if this stays up. And then this, these will be up higher because I'll have the frosting in there and I can push out the ketchup and push out the mustard, mustard and then cut the fruit roll-ups with these and make and create my hamburger. And all the mixing is done in this bin section. So you put in your ingredients from the top here and you mix it in here and then you sort of extrude it out into this little section here. And then you put that on your paddle and you'll see the whole process. So next, uh, what I'll do is I'll get some ingredients in here and go over the recipe book with you. All right, here we go. Here is the recipes and instructions booklet. And this is for someone who might have the toy but don't have this booklet. So I'm holding this up here and giving you a little look at everything. The setup. And there's the picture. You can stop and pause at any time. So I'll quickly go through this for those people. That's what it looks like. Here's the washing guide. Here is how to make the hamburger, so we'll go over that in just a second. And then here's the recipes. And remember, this is for creative playtime. Use food that you enjoy, food that you're not allergic to, then experiment, and then create different things. And you can add your own recipes here in these spots. We're going to do the snack recipe, number one, and then the hamburger patty recipe, number two, which uses whipped cream cheese. These other ones are very similar. This one just uses banana, and this one uses a different cereal, but we're going to stick with these two for now. 
and then we're good to go. So let me uh, show you the machine next. So here's all the ingredients we're gonna need. So I have to set up the machine and set up the ingredients. The first thing they wanted you to do is wind up and make sure this is fully wound up in the back. So let me give it a few more. I did it a few times, it's ready to go. All right, then put in some wafers into your storage bin. So let's do that. Let me get them out from back here. So basically that is a Nilla wafer and it looks like a bun, doesn't it? And that's what they're trying to simulate here, a hamburger bun. So let me just get them out here. I'll show you what they look like. I want ones that are nicely shaped and don't have any kind of cracks in them. So there, that's a nice looking hamburger bun. We'll fill up our little warming bin here. Ooh, that one's got a crack. And they're just like a hard cookie and they're good in milk. They are tasty. Okay, I think that's enough. Ooh, one more good one. All right, there you go. We'll move these off to the side. So the warming bin is ready. Then they want you to prepare your ketchup in mustard. And don't forget, it is not ketchup and mustard. It is red icing and yellow icing. So you just squish it into there. Because these have a little hole on the bottom, which is going to push the ketchup out onto your hamburger. And you set this in and just kind of let it rest there. Okay? You don't have to push it down. If you push it down now, you're going to be in trouble. Because it'll all just end up on your little tabletop there. There's the yellow. Okay. So remember, this is just regular old cake frosting. Well, not old. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so those are set. Now what I need to do is actually move some things around here and get ready to make the first recipe. Alright, the main ingredients are the Rice Krispies, the peanut butter, the Nesquik, and water. So the fruit roll-ups I just wanted to show you, and I'll talk about those a little bit more later. I don't need them right now, so we'll just set those off to the side. And the first ingredient is the peanut butter. And what they want you to do, and they say it on the instructions, is to put it on the end of the paddle. It said one heaping teaspoon. So let me do that next, and we'll confer with the recipe here. See? One heaping teaspoon of creamy peanut butter, uh, Peter Pan peanut butter. So, and that's going to get put back into here. They don't want you to cover the pin because this just rests inside like this and then spins like that, okay? And there's a little bit of stuff there. Okay, all cleaned up. So, peanut butter. One heaping teaspoon. Now, a teaspoon is pretty small, so I'm going to use this one here. One teaspoon, so a heaping. That's a pretty good heaping amount. And right underneath the edge of the paddle, I believe they show it on this edge. Sorry. I know you want to see that. Okay. And let me get a little bit more out here. I'm just going to use my finger to get it all out. Oops, oops. Okay. This is something to eat. Okay, so that goes back in. Alright. And that goes in the machine now. There's a little notch on here to line up to lock it into place. So once you get in the right spot, you just turn it. Here, actually, I find it easier to do it this way. Ooh, that's going to happen. There, now it's locked in. Okay, so that's set. Now, the next thing, after the Phil okay, did the wafers, peanut butter. Got all that. Done, done, done. Oh, two measurings. Uh, one, add one teaspoon of Nestle Quick. So let me get that set. And then two scoops of the Rice Krispies. So let me do this first. 
There's no actual mixing just yet. Okay. And now remember our little red piece, that is the actual scooper. And then you just scoop it to the line. So let's see, so add two full scoops of crispy cereal. Turn handle to grind each scoop. So you put a scoop in and I'm just gonna grind as I go here. So I'm filling it just right to this edge. Okay, maybe a little bit more in there. Okay, so this goes in here. Okay, and now I need to hold everything and grind. And you probably want to see a better close-up of that. So let me make an adjustment here. Get the camera in there real nice. And go for it. Ooh, look at that. Nice looking meat patty in there. See my meat? All right, so I need one more. And there's still water that needs to be added, so I'm not done yet. Okay. That looks scrumptious, does it not? Then yes, I used the word scrumptious. Okay. And one and a half teaspoons of water. So let me do that. Here's a teaspoon. And then a half. That's definitely going to give us a nice meat patty now. And then mix. Oh, it got softer. And it's set quite a bit, so. I don't think I need this in here, but I'll put it in. Now, I have not seen it's mixing too good. I almost want to take it out like I did, I think, in the first video and move it around a little bit because there's a lot of water in there. But it does say at least 20, approximately 25 turns. But as you can see, it's not this creamy peanut butter sticking there. So let me, uh, let me just see if I can, it's easier for me to do it this way and double check it this way. Yeah, I think I want to just mix it up a little bit with my finger. Get it out of the way. Push it down a little bit. There we go. Ooh, look at that. See? Okay. Tasty. Let's see if that helps. Okay. I don't think it helped much. Oh, there we go. I hear it now. Okay, so next now is to extrude it into this next section. So what they want you to do is turn mixture out onto spatula. No, we don't want to do that just yet. Oh, here. So to dispense the mixture, pull the hamburger catcher halfway out. Okay. So right about there. And then continue to turn handle until mixture fills the catcher. But let me show you down here what we're catching. You see some liquid already came down in there maybe? Okay, so nothing's extruding. This is what happened the last time I did this. I remember this exact same thing happening. Let me do, do an adjustment here. Yeah, see all the peanut butter is on the top of my paddle. We don't want it there. It looks like it's mixed really nice though. There we go. Stay down there. I remember the same thing happening the last time I did this. Got to get in the right spot. There we go. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Ooh. 
There are a lot of comments about the look of that. Okay, so now it's extruded in there. So now they say to take it out and dump it on your spatula. Now you pinch this. See, we have a nice chunk of meat patty. Let's see if it comes out. Well, let me show you it coming out. There we go, see? There we go. Come on, get in there. I'm going to have to use a tool, just easier. We're dealing with sticky peanut butter here. Okay, there we go. There's a nice chunk of meat product. Let's see if we can get a little more in there in case we need it. Alright, put a little bit more in there. Just so we get a nice big juicy burger out of this. Okay. So that's it, that's done. Now we move it over to the fryer. Hint, hint, I'm not really frying. All right, so you paddle it out onto your section there. And now here's where we fry. And this is gonna actually form the shape. You just gotta get in the right spot. Oop, not the right spot. Right about here, the way this is designed. Here we go. Mmm. Hamburger patty, look at that. Ooh, that looks good. So, now we're set to actually make the hamburger, but I need to get my fruit roll-ups ready. So I'm gonna set that up and we'll start making our first hamburger. All right, so it's time for decorating. So I wanted to get my, this is a fruit roll-up. I have two actually open on the side, but I just wanted to show you. They come in foil packs usually like this, and then they're rolled up. That's a fruit roll-up. And it is a candy, it's like a snack. And then you just take it and unroll the sheet. See how nice and colored they are? So this is going to be our pickles, our cheese, and our tomato. But I think I might make some lettuce, because some people said in the last video, where's the lettuce? All right, so we need to take our patty now and get a bun out of the bun warmer. There's a bun. Here's the top. Ooh, look at that. So we zoom into our hamburger patty and get that off the skillet. There you go, this sticky and it's peanut buttery. Now let's get that on our patty. I'm just gonna reshape it a little. It's almost like a meat play-doh. Look at that. That came out really good. Alright, so let's get in here now and put... They actually show you putting the ketchup and mustard on first. Let me see. Roll out the... Okay. You spat from here and place it in a vanilla wafer. Roll out the fruit... Oh, roll out the fruit roll-ups. Okay, so we'll wait on that. So let's get those in here and we'll decorate our hamburger. So here we go. I'm going to leave them right on this sheet and cut out a tomato. Look, see, there's a nice tomato. Hmm. Now, if you don't like tomato, then don't put it on there. No, just kidding. It's not really tomato, remember. Cheese, I'll just cut that and have it ready. I want the cheese on last. A couple pickles. I know there's a lot of pickle fans out there. Ooh, look, my pickles got stuck. How am I going to get you out of here? Let's see. Ooh, no, I need a tool. Hold on just a second. I got to find the something to get those out. Oh, there we go. There's one pickle. You know, for the people that love pickles, I want to put more pickles on there. Oh, those work better. And if I was going to do lettuce, you know, maybe I'd cut, I'd take a pair of scissors here. Let me pull it off my fruit roll up. I didn't show you an actual sheet. Here's what a sheet looks like, see? So a lot of times you just eat it like that, or people crumple it up and make a ball out of it. You grab a pair of scissors here and cut out some lettuce. Hmm? I gotta decorate that a little bit more. 
So if I was a lettuce, I'd be a little, you know, a little misshapen piece. Okay. So there's my my lettuce piece. All right, so I'll put the lettuce on there. And then I'm going to put my cheese. I want my pickles on the top. There we go. Okay, we're making it. And we'll do four pickles. Mmm, it's looking tasty. And unfortunately, I can't eat this till the end because I have to make the second recipe for you. There's four pickles. And now time for the ketchup and mustard. So here we go. Hopefully you have a good view. It's very dark. Let me do it this way. Hmm, look at that. And now my mustard. Good quantity of mustard. And it's time to top it off with my second bun. There we go. Squish that down. Ooh, doesn't that look tasty? I can't wait to try it. So what I need to do now is clean up and we'll make the second hamburger. All right, we are back. I was just making sure I had this wound up all the way and it's ready to go. Let's just test it. Are you ready to make some Philadelphia whipped cream cheese hamburger patties? Mmm, doesn't that sound exciting? All right, so this one also calls for Rice Krispies, chocolate water, and then the whipped cream instead of peanut butter. This is gonna be interesting. All right, so the first thing is one teaspoon of whipped cream cheese. And by the way, the first one, you know, I kind of had to mess with it a little bit to get it to come out right. So, you know, sometimes that's going to happen. You just got to roll with it and forge ahead is what I did. So there's whipped cream cheese. Now the same thing here, I have to take it off. Don't fall, okay? Don't fall. Let me do it this way. I seem to find it seemed to be easier for me to do it this way. Pull it off. He didn't fall. Good job. Okay, so one heaping teaspoon. I'm going to use this little one here. A whipped cream cheese. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. And the same thing, you put it on your paddle. It's hard to do when you take it out like that. Here it is. It's kind of just hanging out there. Using my finger to get the rest of it onto my paddle. All right, so that can go in now. Right in the center. This can lock in. You got to kind of get this lined up. There's like a pin here. This pin lines up into the top of that. Then locks in. I'm sure it took kids a little bit of time to figure that out. Maybe not. All right, so last time I think we put in the, the powder mix next. So let's take that off. Let's get ready here. And now uh, this one was a little bit different. It's one and a half teaspoons. The other one was two teaspoons. And it calls for less water. So the one and a half, hmm, I wonder why they did it that way. It's gonna be a white Patty. Now the chocolate is acting like uh, that's what's really coloring the meat. And a lot of people ask, what does it taste like? Well, you know, just take all these ingredients, put them in a bowl, and taste it. Because that's what it tastes like. It's got everything that kids like. You got cereal, you got chocolate. Now I'm not sure about the cream cheese. We're going to find out. I wanted to do something real quick here. I'm doing the Rice Krispies. It said it came out to about a quarter cup. So before I go any further, I just want to verify that when I scoop this in, that that's what I get. So there's one scoop. Just to see, and maybe I should go to the top. Maybe the first one was a little light on the Rice Krispies. See, so that doesn't seem like a quarter cup to me. I'm going to go all the way up. I wonder if a scoop now should have been this. Let me try that. Maybe that's why my burger was a little 
wet. Okay, there's one. See, for me, that's a lot of testing. I gotta do testing. And there's two, just filled up all the way. That seems more accurate to me. Doesn't that seem a little bit better? All right, so, now I'm only supposed to put half of that in there. Let me get the cereal out of here, the chocolate out of here. All right. So now following the same principles, the water's last. So let me just put a little bit of this in the top. Let me see if I can get some better shots here. Here, let me do this. Let me reset up and show the inside of the mixer. All right, so here's looking inside here. I can give you a little bit better. So the chocolate's sitting there. It's waiting for me to turn. And then here's the first scoop. So I'll put a little bit in, and then I'll just show you this crushing perspective. Okay, so I'm crushing. So that's what it looks like on the inside. See that in there? So that's spinning. All right. So let me uh, do another quick change here and show you another shot from underneath. All right, so there you go. And what you see here is that this little inside mixer paddle is touching up against this. So that's what's allowing me to grind here. Because there, there were notches on the outside of that. And I have more to put in, so I'll take this out. Oops, I'm spilling. Here we go, this is the last of it. Okay, so the last thing now is the water. Let me just change that a little bit, move this out a little bit. And this one calls for one teaspoon let me get my teaspoon. I remember last time I had to make an adjustment because the water was just sitting on the bottom. So let's see if we have that same issue. It'd be great if I can spin it and do it at the same time, but you really can't. Well, let me try. Yeah, see it's all still sticking to the bottom. So let me give it a quick cleanup like I did last time. I'm just taking this off, twisting this, pulling this out. See, it's all in there. It's starting to look very similar to the first meat patty. Remember, we're making a meat patty. Okay, get it off the center. That's what you don't want. You don't want it sitting on that center pin. There we go. See all that in there? Okay, again, just line it up, lock it in, there you go. That seems a little bit better now. Much better. So it was about 25 turns. I think I'm on 13, 14, 18, 20, 23, 24, 25 turns. All right, that's good. And then here we go. We're going to pull this out halfway to there. And then now, yeah, let's see if we can get really in there. There we go. Ooh, that does look good. I'm going to pack it down real good this time. There you go. All right, so... Let me, uh, well, let me zoom the camera out here. Let the lighting adjust. Sometimes it doesn't like close-up shots. All right, so I have to let that readjust. And tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to reset up the camera here, and we'll show you the frying process. Okay, just had to let my camera adjust there. Sometimes it just has a hard time with close-ups and wanting to be blue. Oh, squeeze these in. Okay, that looks like a much nicer patty. I want to get in here, man. I want to really show the patty coming out of this. Come on. Come on, you've been good to me. You've been good to me all day. Oh, loop. Check that out. How appetizing. Now let's move it over to our fryer. 
Ooh, don't roll off. Okay. Remember, it's got to be a little further out. We want to see this close up, right? Here we go. Mm. Nice. And look, it even has a textured top because the inside of that purple piece has a little texture on it so that the top of the meat looks like real ground beef. All right. So let me uh, get out my warmed buns here. One, ooh, those are hot. Ooh, steaming. Let's scoop it on. Let's see if this one's a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit better than the other one. I think the first one just needed a little bit more. Look at that. Now, is that a tasty looking hamburger? To me it is. And I can't wait to try them both. All right, so here we go. Fruit roll-ups. Let me start with a fresh one here. Now, I'm going to make it a cheeseburger, but I'll probably put this one in the regular hamburger wrapper. Now, remember I can... Well, I'm going to do two pieces of cheese. I like cheese. Who likes a lot of cheese on their hamburgers? I do. See, look at that nice little piece of cheese. I'm going to put my cheese first this time. Yeah, that makes more sense, huh? And then here, let's chop up another cheese. I'll cross my cheese. Is that how you put your cheese on? Okay. Ooh, look at that. All right, uh, and a tomato. Let's really do it up with a couple tomatoes. You know, while we're here, tomato number one. Mmm, juicy tomatoes. I guess it, you know, it's how much fun you want to have and how much creativity you want to apply. Ooh, look at that. Right out of the garden, fresh tomatoes. Now what do we need? Pickles? Gotta have pickles. Those don't didn't cut the best the first few times. I had to take one of my scissors and just poke them out. Oop. There you go. Pickle on top. Oh, did I did I mention on how it tastes? Well, just imagine now all these sweets. And I don't know, this one's got cream cheese. There's good pickles. How's that? Tasty looking. So I refilled my ketchup and mustard. So you got to kind of hold it there and push. There we go. Mmm. Mustard. Look at that. That's loaded on top of my burger. Alright, so now it's time for my bun topper. Look at that. Alright. I'm going to have to dissect one of those later. So I'm going to get set up now and wrap both of these for you. So I'll do that next. Alright, it's burger wrapping time now. I have the hamburger and cheeseburger, even though I made two cheeseburgers. And then uh, they really show it a little different than I would expect. I'll show you what they do. They just have you placing it here and then folding over two corners, and then folding over the other corners, and then flipping it upside down, which means my burger will be upside down on my tray. So I thought it'd be better if I carefully just do it this way, right? And then I do this, and then this, okay? Now this is how they show it. Now, I'm sure people who are much better at wrapping hamburgers, ooh, get out of the way, can do this better than me. Okay, so there's my cheeseburger. And I'll, I guess I'll do one the way they show it, just so that we do what they do. Pull this corner over. I almost think it, these are papers are just a little bit too big for this. Because you kind of want to just tuck it in a little bit more, don't you? Like this. There's my second burger. All right, I'm gonna clean up, come back, and give them a taste. All right, here we go. Everything is out of the way now. Here's my cheeseburgers. Uh, of course, one is in a regular hamburger wrapper. So I'm gonna take them out, just like I'm ready to eat. There we go. Ooh, that squished a little when I pressed, but that's okay. Nice. And then here is my other one. 
and I'm gonna cut one and they look pretty close don't they even though one is peanut butter so let me see I'm gonna see if I can slowly oh yeah I'll cut this one I can do it I know I can once I get through this I'll be okay That's good enough. I think we got it. Okay, we're getting through everything now. I just wanted to show you the inside. Oop, there we go. Ah. Oh, that didn't cut. Oh, it's having a hard time cutting through the fruit roll up. Ooh, there. I just destroyed it. Hmm. I'm gonna eat this half now, but here, this one's this one came out good. See the ketchup and the mustard in there? A failed cutting attempt. Well, you gotta try it. Mmm. That one. That's the peanut butter one. So let me try the cream cheese one. Here, what if I can just pull it apart? So there's all my toppings. Ooh, does that look good? And now when I bite, it's probably all gonna squish out anyway. Mm-hmm. It all squished out. Hmm. What I really taste is the fruit roll-ups the most. You don't really taste cream cheese. It's pretty good. I made another bite of that one. I see how it all squishes because. I was kind of thinking it was going to be softer. So, that is now the hamburger snack maker. I think I will come back at a later date, bring them all in, and make the whole meal. So I don't have to experiment with any of the recipes, really. I can just get into it, make them, make something to drink, and enjoy my Happy Meal. So I'll probably do that at some point. Now, if you want to see the rest of these makers, then we'll have a... Link in the description to a playlist, or you could also just search our channel. All right, this is bothering me here. I had to bite that off. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.